So right now, Amar is practicing. This is Jason. That's Amar. We're doing Amar's training videos. Amar's practicing the forehand loop. And Irfan is here. He's just gonna grunt, but he's 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 over here to help to help Amar just block back. So he's setting Amar right now. And we're practicing the forehand loop. I guess it's better. Why right. are you going down on come up? Like if I would jump off your legs with me. You know, like I'm trampling on your legs. That's why. So the forehand loop. Yeah, that's good. Just jump up on your legs. Just jump up and down. And almost work. Yes, it's better. Much better. It's much better, bro. Not too much power. Here you go. So the forehand loop is one of the most important skills in ping pong. If you watch the professionals, basically. 80% of their match is forehand looping. And this, this is where you see them just go crazy. They're gonna go under the table and loop. And this is what generates the most spin. Yeah, that, that's, that was, that was, that as, was, yes, as, that was it. That's exactly it. You, you, as as right Mars trying, trying to do this. You doing that. This is, yes, yes, that's it, that's it. That's a training video for Well, what Mars trying to accomplish is getting the ball on the other side with considerable power and accuracy. What he's trying to do is just don't use out power. Yeah, out power the opponent. And don't, what, Amar, when you're hitting back spin, don't hit with that much power. Very little power is needed. Here you go. Wow, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Use that wrist up. Make sure you know where the ball is though. Down the ball. That's sarcastic. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's good. Don't hit too much power. That's yes, good. Good loop. Good loop. Profound. Profound. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. That's okay. Here you go. Exquisite. Good. Yeah, you're good. Loop. That's what you do. That's what you use loop when you're jammed. Go forward. It's all good. So, what the basic technique Amar is trying to accomplish is to make the ball spin with top spin. With heavy topspin, tons of wrist, right over, tons of right wrist. over the net, tons of wrist makes it flexible and loose. The key, like you know, the key to this is making good, sure goodness. that your paddle is somewhat angled down, and as you generate power, it spins. If your paddle is not angled downwards, then it's gonna fly way past the net. Some of these shots, Amar is generating some very heavy topspin. When you aim for your forehand loop, aim for the middle always, never aim for the side. But notice how sometimes you can over hit. This is what makes the forehand loop so tricky because you not only have to be incredibly, <laughs> incredibly consistent. Good. Good miss, good miss. Good, miss. good backhand loop. Stick with forehand right. Stick with forehand right. So Amar is getting some good topspin off that, but it's basically off the wrist motion and the fact that when he finishes, notice how he's covering, oh, you don't kind of like arm. kind of like a more rainbow. Wrist, much. Yes, more, it's covering. More wrist, arm. More wrist arm. If anything, wait, you, you, we try this, try this. Keep your elbow attached to your body and hit. See what happens. Use that spin. I'll, I'll hit the body shape better feet. Here, here, ready? Good now. Yes, that kind of spin. Now use that kind of spin in whatever power you're using. Yes, that's better. Yes, that's better. That's it. That's, that's, that's kind of, you want to miss long like that. It's okay to miss long like that because you know you're getting a spin at least. Amar, see if you can try and start your stroke a little lower. Maybe that'll help. Like start start from down here more than from up here. Because if you start from up here and hit this, it's just going to go flying. Use your wrist. But if you start from down and curl over, then maybe you'll get some more. Then you'll get more success with having it hit the other side. Instead of using your forearm, you tilt your wrist down more. And then use that windshield wipe the wrist more. Okay. More wrist action, arm action. Wrist action give you more and arm action give you more power. So Irfan right now is our forehand loop specialist. <laughs> That's all I do against you. <laughs> But that's good, that's good. The way he holds the paddle is yes, down lower, down very lower. similar to how how Amar that's how I it holds it. That's how I brought it down. Let me show you. Give me both. The difference between being low is that you get. When I go on, when I go on to teach Matt Low, 
the loop will look a little different based off how we hold the paddle. Did Pablo's on group? Yeah, Matt's, Matt's still on the team. <laughs> Mars getting no. very good forehand loops. Better. Yeah, it's good. There you go. There you go. Yeah, make sure, yeah. Your wrist. That's okay. Make sure yeah, you start wrist. start from a little lower and then finish down. It's finish down. It's all one motion. When you get one motion, no. <laughs> it's about the timing of your contact to make sure it goes over the net. A little too early and it's gonna go right into the net. A little too late and it's gonna fly right over. So you're trying to hit that sweet spot and that's what makes the forehand loop so difficult to master. <laughs> As Omar just watches it sleep. Oh. Good. There you go. Good. Good. It, sometimes it's not all about power. Sometimes when you bring it over your head too much, you get more power. I there's my there's a good balance yeah, no, between do power do and spin. Okay. When you do that, it's gonna go too powerful. You want to do that? I'm gonna smash right on my back. Good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. There you go. Just a few more. Good. So one, more one more, one more, one more up. I think Omar one. is so starting to get this. It's one. Okay, get him forehand. One. One more. Three. Three. Four. There you go. <laughs> Looks like Omar is doing very well on this forehand loop technique. Now we're going to switch to the backhand.